Hi, folks and friends on YouTube. Thanks for being here. I'm Still Dreaming is my channel. And in this video, I wanted to share my Valentine collection. So um, I just want to say two things before I um, share my collection. And um, so what I wanted to say was uh, everything here that I have on this blanket is um, either from a thrift store or I made it myself or um, it was a gift and um, or there might be just one or two items here that I uh, purchased from the uh, Dollar Tree store so and I'm gonna save my favorite Valentine um, piece in my collection uh, for last so I'm um, just oh and then one other thing I there was two things that I meant to say before I um, start the video and the second thing is is that so I'm um, I'm an older person now I've always liked to decorate and when my kids my, my son is uh, 28 now and my daughter she'll be 26 so when my kids were small I used to really decorate over the top for every you know from Valentine's Day all the way to Christmas and um, but I'm older now my kids are grown and um, I don't have the same energy level you know that I used to 10 15 20 years ago so I keep it minimal now so um, that's okay so like if you're somebody who's an older person like myself you know it's fun to decorate but you can do it minimally and you don't have to spend a lot of money especially if you're somebody who keeps things for a long time like like myself um just kind of looking over my things i think probably the only thing that i still might want to buy are some valentine theme um plates and napkins because i just have just a little bit of that so apart from that um I don't think I'll be adding anything else to my my collection this year for Valentine's Day. So, so okay, so here we go. So, whoops. Um, okay, so these are just little uh, treat bags from a thrift store. Uh, this was a package of plates that I didn't finish using last year. This was from a thrift store. It was brand new in the packaging, but I only have these many left. I found these napkins um, last year. Um, um, this is a wreath that I made um, last year, and actually, it uh, it's it's made out of wood. It's a wooden heart, but it was really for Christmas. If you can see on the back side, underneath the red tool, there's the gingerbread men and it says welcome it's like a welcome sign to put on your front door but it was for Christmas see the holly the holly leaf so anyways I liked it because it was the shape of a heart so last year I um, did this to it so and I got the ribbon and the lace um, from thrift stores and I even found these at a thrift store but the problem was and I used a, a hot glue gun to glue these little glass um, these little glass embellishments but they came off they come they they started popping off real easily and I kept re-gluing and then they still would come off so I finally gave up so I got to figure out a way to um, make them um, adhere okay and then this I found this last year um, off season I haven't I never used it it's a flag to hang up you know outside on my 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 uh, see there i have on the overhang there's a uh a thing there to hang a flag so that's where i'm gonna hang my valentine flag and then um i found these um i, I don't know i must have picked these up at the dollar tree or the 99 cent store they're cookie cutters uh valentine themed shape and then um you know cupcake liners for valentine for Valentine's and then these two little flags uh, a couple of weeks was like two weeks ago I went for a walk me and Robert went walking over at this uh, school that's not too far from us 
and um, we found these someone had them stuck in the ground in the parking lot so I took those and then um, I've had this for a very long time it's a little candy dish with a little uh, little heart-shaped ceramic uh, candy dish what does it say huh Oh, not for food use, may, oh shoot, may poison food. Well, I've never, I've never used it for food, just little candies, chocolate kisses. And then these, I found these two cups at different times. Last year, this one I found um, this year, yeah, at the Goodwill bins or the Goodwill outlet. And then um, a time before I found these um, little heart-shaped glass. Um, cutouts that they were all red except for one was a white one and then um, this is just a little picture oh, shoot. Oh, my goodness this is a little picture of me when I was a flower girl when I was a little girl <laughs> I just liked it because of the frame it's the heart-shaped frame and then this I found this at a thrift store too it's a uh, it's a uh, glass heart and then this bell I've had, I gave this to Robert one time a couple years ago for for uh, Valentine's Day. And then this, this is a plate. I found this at, at the Goodwill, not the bins, just the regular Goodwill store. And so um, I thought that was real cute. And then this I found the other day. These are the things I bought most recently for Valentine's. I found a dish towel. I found this little candy dish I'm going to use. These I picked up a while back from the thrift store. They were just random little um, doily, doily hearts. This ribbon I found the other day when I found the dishcloth. I have one lone heart pick, a couple of bows. The red you can use for Christmas and for Valentine's Day. Then I have this little decoration. It used to be um, tied together with lace, but that part got too tangled, so I ended up having to take the lace off. So I'm not sure. You can just put them down flat, or I don't know. I might see if I can figure out a way to ta attach them back together. Uh, this is my refrigerator um, magnet collection. These are all uh, refrigerator magnets. That's my mom and dad before I was born. This, they're all from the thrift store. Um, well, the, the frame, this frame I found at the, uh, a few years ago at the, the 99 cent store. And see the magnet on the reverse side? So I, and then this is from the thrift store one time. The R and the R is for Robert and Rebecca. Uh, this used to be my mom's. She used to have it on her refrigerator. I got that. I have these two little hearts. This little silver one. See, they're all magnets. I like to um, put theme ma magnets on my on my uh, refrigerator. This is actually a this is from Avon, and it's actually a little pen for a, you know a child for. And I found four of them: one for uh, Easter, Thanksgiving, um, Christmas, and Valentine. So I don't know. I'm thinking about putting a little somehow taking this off and then just putting a magnet on the back and use it for a refrigerator magnet to add to my collection. See, they're all magnets. This my sister made one time for her, for my niece, um, Olivia, and um, my, my, my sister gave it to me. So I put a little, um, I have to add a little another piece on this side, but I added this magnet backing so I could put it on my refrigerator. And this is a Valentine's Day prayer that I always loved. I've had this for years, years and years. And um, I, uh, somebody gave it to my mother. See, my mother was Rosalie. Someone gave it to my mother. That's why I, my mother used to put it on her refrigerator on uh, for Valentine's uh, day two, so that's where I got it. So, anyways, um, oh, so that's everything. Oh, the, the these are the only two things so far that I've gotten this year from the uh, Dollar Tree, which I had three, but I ate one of them last night. You get two in a package. They're these 
uh, milk chocolate pretzels, and they're they're really good. Man, if I would if they would have had more than three, I would have bought more than three. But there was just three. But I'm gonna be on the lookout for these. But apart from those pretzels, um, there isn't anything really added this year from um, the Dollar Tree or the 99 cent store or those other stores. Okay, so this is my favorite thing. This is my favorite Valentine piece that I have in my collection. It's a wind chime. I found it a long time ago and it has these hearts and I really like the little sound it makes. I usually hang it up uh, over my front door over there. So, yeah, I would I would say this is if it's not my favorite, it's one of my favorite. One of my favorite pieces. So that's everything and I think there was one other thing. Yeah, the other one thing I wanted to mention before I close the video is that um I kind of really feel like and it's probably because I'm older now but I really really feel like last year 2023 it just went by so fast it's like it's, it's really a blur to me it went by so fast and I don't want 2024 to be a blur like 2023 was so I am trying to like slow time down a little bit and I feel like if I don't jump on the bandwagon for the next holiday and the next holiday and the next holiday and I try to put the brakes on a little bit between the holidays that I'll get more out of my weeks and months and ultimately out of the, the, the year, this year, 2024. So that's why I waited till now to show my Valentine stuff that I have. And I'm actually not gonna decorate, if you could call it decorating. I'm, I'm not gonna put this stuff up in, in inside until uh, the first, because I kind of, um, like I said, I'm just trying to slow, slow time down a little bit and um, I'm not quite, quite ready to embrace Valentine's Day quite yet, but on the first I will be and I wanna really, you know, enjoy the two weeks up until the 14th and make the most of it and really, you know, make the most of the, um, the, uh, the occasion and, and the, um, the specialness of uh, Valentine's Day and St. Valentine. All right, you guys, I just wanted to say all that and I hope you liked my, my video and see you next time. Bye.